All right. Uh, it looks like all of my stuff has disappeared. Um, okay, so we're this is we're continuing on with slope, rate of change, and slope. Rate of change is just another way of saying slope. Uh, the definition of rate of change is a ratio of the amount of change in the dependent variable or output to the amount of change in the independent var independent variable or input, which is a lot of words that we want to know what they mean. When we talk about our independent variable, that's our x. Remember, we change our x, and the output is our y, our dependent variable. The outcome, or what our y is equal to, depends on the x, and that's why it's called the independent and the dependent variable. Um, so we're talking about rate of change and slope. And really, they're the same word. And before we came to this section, we also talked about our constant of proportionality. And our constant of proportionality is just a special case of slope. Um, proportionality. I don't think it has two L's. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Proportionality. Rate and slope or constant proportionality. The constant proportionality is, is rate and slope, but only in proportional relationships, which is why it's the constant proportionality. It's the same thing, but it's a special case. It, it only applies, we only use the K in the special case of it being a proportional relationship, meaning it passes through the origin on the graph. Rate and slope um, are referring to any graph and it doesn't have to be proportional or it doesn't have to pass through the origin. It will still be a straight line though. Okay, so we can talk about, and we're really just going to talk about slope. Um, I do want you to know it means rate of change as well, um, but we're, when I talk I'm just going to be talking about slope. We might talk about rate of change in some of the practice problems, uh, but when I'm defining everything it's going to be slope, so just make sure you know that rate of change, slope, I'm talking about the same thing. Okay, so it is the proportion of one thing to the other. So with the constant proportionality, remember we had k equals y over x. It's the output uh, with relation to the input. And it's similar with slope, but with slope we're looking at, um, we call this little triangle delta, the change in y, and delta, the change in x. So change in y over change in x. This is, we'll also sometimes refer to this to as, <laughs> refer to this as, can't write today, rise over run. And um, to be able to find this, we have this little equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And the reason, just really quick, the reason that we can use k for this in a proportional relationship is we can plug in a 0, a 0, 0, right? We have the point, it goes through the point 0, 0, and so we can plug in a 0, 0 for one of these points and that just saves us with y over x. Uh, if it doesn't go through the origin, we can't do that. Okay, so that is, in a nutshell, in a math shell, I don't know what you guys want to call that, that is just the quick summary. So let's do just a quick example. Let's say we have two points on a graph. We have point 1, and that is at negative 3, 2. Remember, when we have an ordered pair, this is our x value and this is our y value. And we have point 2, which is at negative 6, 4. Okay, this is point 2, and again, this is our x and our y. And we want to figure out what our slope is. Well, we have slope equals rise over run, right? Um, so let's just figure these out separately. Rise over run is the same thing as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so I'm going to just um, take my point and kind of break it apart. So I'm going to say this is my rise. And my rise is y2 minus y1. 
Well, here's my point two, here's my y two. Okay, that's my y two. So I'm gonna take the four minus, and my y one is right here, four minus two. And so my rise, four minus two is two. My rise is two. And what would my run be? In my run, I have my x2 right here, so that's negative 6, and I have my x1 right here, and this is where they try and trick you, because you still have to subtract, but it's a negative 3, so it's minus negative 3. And remember, when we have two negatives together like that, it becomes a positive. So this is negative 6 plus 3, and negative 6, you're 6 feet down in the hole, you add in 3 feet of dirt, so you're still 3 feet down in the hole, so it's going to be negative 3. And so our run is negative 3, our rise is positive 2, and that means that our slope, our m, or our slope, is equal to our rise, which is 2, over, or divided by, our run, which is negative 3. Okay, so if we were using our proportional relationships like before, we could write this as y equals, you can do 2 over negative 3 or negative 2 over 3 or negative 2 over 3, it's all the same thing, 2 over 3x, and then we have this b that we'll talk about later, but that's kind of the, just the starting point on the y axis. But this should look really familiar because this is very similar to the y equals kx. Okay, and I think that's good enough for this video.